May 15. 164 B. C. The Jews, upon the 15th Sivan, celebrate a feast for the victory of Judas Maccabus over the people of Bethsan, or Scythopolis. 67. Vespas Ian invested Judapata, in Galilee, defended by Josephus, the historian, a very interesting siege as it respects the latter. 392. Valentin Ian, Emperor of Rome, strangled at Vienne, in Milan, by order of Arbogast, his rebellious general. 1213. King John, oppressed with guilt and despair, resigned the kingdoms of England and Ireland to the Pope, to be held of him and of the Roman Church in fee, by the annual rent of 1,000 marks. 1464. Battle of Hexham, on the banks of the Dillswater, and defeat of the Lancastrians under the Duke of Somerset, by Edward IV. After this defeat was extremely singular and distressing. 1494. Columbus discovered a great number of small islands in the West Indies, which he called the Queen's Garden. These were in his opinion the 5,000 islands which Marco Polo and Mandeville described as the boundary of India. 1548. The Emperor Charles V laid before the Diet of Augsburg a rule of faith, which he compelled them to acquiesce in, notwithstanding that it was disapproved by both Protestants and Papists. 1567. Marriage of Mary, Queen of Scots, and the Earl of Bothwell. 1571. Moscow burned by the Tartars, who had surrounded the city, and set it on fire at all points. The entire city was burnt down, and upwards of 200,000 of the inhabitants perished in the flames. 1602. Bartholomew Gosnold, in search of a suitable place to settle a plantation, discovered a headland in 42 degrees, where he came to anchor. Number of cod at this place, they called it Cape Cod, which name it still retains. 1618. The celebrated Kepler discovered his canon for the periodical motion of the planets. 1645. Battle of Aldern, in which the Earl of Montrose defeated the Scots under Eure with great slaughter. 1664. The Dutch governor surrendered the island of Cayenne to the French, by treaty. 1674. Bizancon, an ancient city of France, taken by Louis XIV. 1679. The Amelian Museum, at Oxford, England, founded for the purpose of receiving the antiquary's twelve cartloads of rarities. 1716. John Bagford, an English antiquary, died. He was originally a shoemaker, became a bookseller, and an amateur of old English books and curious prints, with which he enriched several famous libraries. 1719. Francis Malavai died. A Frenchman, who, although he lost his sight when nine months old, acquired celebrity as a mystical writer on quietism. 1737. Alexander Cunningham, a Scottish historian, died. He wrote a valuable history of Great Britain in Latin, which remained in manuscript till 1787, when it was translated by Thompson and published in two volumes. Cordo. 1740. Ephraim Chambers, an English encyclopedist, died. He was apprenticed to a globe maker, and during his minority projected his Dictionary of the Arts and Sciences, which appeared in 1728 in two volumes. Folio. It was extended by Drive Reese to 45 volumes. Cordo. 1747. British fleet under Anson captured one French ship of 74 guns, five of 64, four of 60, one of 50, and 20 merchantmen. 
1766. John Astruc, a French physician, died. Author of several useful and curious works. 1772. Anthony Francis Riccoboni died. An Italian actor, author of Art du Theatre, a work of great merit. 1773. Alban Butler died. Director of the English College of St. Omer's, and author of The Lives of the Fathers, Saints and Martyrs, with valuable notes. 1775. Congress resolved to issue a paper money. 1776. American Fort at the Cedars, 43 miles above Montreal, surrendered by Maj. Butterfield, with 390 men, to Captain Foster, with 650 British and Indians. See May. 20, 27. 1781. Fort Granby surrendered by the British to Cal. Lee. 1789. The number of emigrants which had passed through Muskingum to settle in Kentucky since the 1st of August, 1786, not including those who passed in the night. Unnoticed was 19,882. These were accompanied by 1,884 horses, 2,297 cattle, 1,920 sheep, 627 wagons, and 1,067 boats. 1800. James Mallet Dupin died in England, where he took refuge from the revolutionary mania of France. He was a literary and political writer, distinguished by the extent of his knowledge and vigor of style, as well as probity and independence of character. 1800. Bonaparte crossed the Mount St. Bernard. Each man, says Sir Walter Scott, carried from 60 to 80 pounds, up icy precipices, where a man totally without encumbrance could ascend but slowly. Probably no troops but the French could have endured the fatigue of such a march and no other general than Bonaparte would have ventured to require it at their hands. 1802. The Portuguese frigate Cine captured by the Alger in S. after a smart action. The crew having ran below, the officers were all cut to pieces. 1814. The British plundered Poltneville on Lake Ontario. They were driven off by General Swift. 1817. David Irving died at Philadelphia. He was taken prisoner on board the United States frigate Philadelphia at Tripoli and imprisoned there two years. 1821. John Wall Colcott died. An English musical composer, and author of a musical grammar. 1821. John Bonnie Castle died. An English mathematician whose works are in use in this country. He contributed the mathematical articles for Reese's Cyclopedia. 1830. An extensive shower of red dust extending over Italy, Malta, Sicily, Sardinia, etc., observed by Drive John Davy. 1833. Edmund Keane, a celebrated English tragedian, died. It is ascertained that the total sum which he received for acting from 1814 was 177,000 pounds, averaging nearly $40,000 per annum for 19 years. Yet he died poor. 1836. The village of Roanoke, on the Jallahoochee, Georgia, attacked and stormed by 300 Indians, and burned to ashes. 1838. John Murphy died in Fauquier County, Virginia, aged 106. 1847. Daniel O'Connell, the Irish agitator, died at Genoa, on his way to Rome. His heart was sent forward and his body carried back to Ireland. 1848. Attempted Communist Counter-Revolution in Paris. 1848. Richard H. Toller, a distinguished writer and for 23 years editor of the Lynchburg Virginian, 
died at Richmond. 1854. George Perkins, a retired Boston merchant, was murdered by the Chinese crew of a boat which he had engaged to take him ashore at Macau, whither he had just arrived from San Francisco. 1854. The ship Townsend, from Boston to San Francisco destroyed by fire, and several lives lost. 1854. An explosion took place in the Blackheath coal mines, Virginia, by which of the 23 workmen only one escaped death. 1855. The Universal Industrial Exhibition was opened at Paris by Louis Napoleon. 1855. A destructive tornado swept over a portion of Lapeer County, Michigan. Thank <laughs> you.